I know a lot of this stuff, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these messages, a lot of these things that I'm saying, you probably that I already heard it before, I'm sure you, your mamas and teachers and all your counselors and everybody, you know, trying to drill into your head, do the right thing, do the right thing. Well, I'm going to give you the opportunity to hear from somebody who spent a whole lot of time doing the wrong thing. I mean, I ain't just somebody standing up here telling you, telling you, go to school and get an education coming from a perspective of, you know, of someone who didn't always walk the straight and narrow. I mean, I done got enough trouble for all of you. You're perfectly honest with you. I done made enough mistakes for all of you. And I done made enough mistakes and I done done enough and learned enough to where I can hopefully share my experiences with you guys and maybe y'all can learn from my mistakes. Maybe y'all can learn from my mistakes so y'all ain't got to go out there and catch the same cases as I do. Y'all ain't got to go out there and hold your homeboy in your hand while he got like I did. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. I'll tell you what I don't expect. I don't expect for everybody to get up and say, I heard T.I. speak today and I just didn't change my life. <laughs> I don't expect that. That ain't what I expect. For the simple fact that that's not realistic. What I do expect is I expect for you guys to just, just think about things you do before you do it. Just think about it. For everything you do, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta weigh the risk versus the reward. One, what are you risking? What could you lose? Versus what is the reward? What could you gain? Now, I'm gonna make it real easy for you. If you got to risk your life, your freedom, your health, your strength, man, it ain't worth it. All the money in the world, all the fun in the world ain't worth your freedom. Your life. And I know it don't seem like much right now because you know a lot of people, you know myself included, when I was y'all at these homes, I was living for the day. Right now. What I can do right now to get me a couple thousand dollars in my pocket. What I can do right now, pass this time by, kick it with this chick. Yeah. I understand that because I've been there. But what I also understand now is that the person that you are today you ain't gonna be 10 years from now. You ain't gonna be that same person. You gonna grow, you gonna learn, you gonna experience things, and you gonna change, you gonna mature. That's what life is about. Now for you to block that out, for you to not allow yourself to do that, is for you to not allow yourself to make it. For you to not allow yourself to see guys to do it. Just think about what you do before you do it because the, the, the decisions that you make today could very well affect you 10 years from now. If you, if you let your temper get the best of you, you go and do something that, that, that allows you to be affected for the next 10 years of your life, you ain't gonna remember what you did. All you gonna know is, man, I'm still paying the price for this stupid decision I made 10 years ago. Now, I'm speaking from a perspective. Once again, I ain't just telling you something that I heard somebody else say. I got a partner right now doing life, right now. Life plus five for a murder. I talk to him every day, and he say, man, I don't even remember what I was thinking about that day. I don't even remember what what the, you know, what caused me to, to, to snap and go that far. But I'm sorry, for real sorry. I wish I could take it back, but I can't. Now you see what I'm saying, that listening to somebody like that, you know, all that does is tell me, okay, well, maybe I could share this experience with the rest of these kids out here who still have a decision. Who still have a, who still got, they still got time to where they can say, okay, you know what, man? I'm gonna walk it off. I'm mad right now, but now I'm gonna go find me. A, I'm gonna go find me a real, real pretty, long hair chick to kick it with. And I'm gonna take my mind. I'm gonna take my mind off of this. But if you react right now, that second, man, you can blow it off. So don't make, don't make decisions that could affect you permanently based off of temporary emotion. Temporary 
School right now is your first experience in society. It's your first taste of the real world. So in this school, it's gonna be, a, from this school, it's gonna be a percentage of people that go on to be doctors, a percentage of people that go on to be lawyers, a percentage of people that go on to be teachers, and coaches, politicians, a percentage of you gonna go on to be police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna believe that boy, just wait. Just give me some years, just wait. A percentage of you are going to be football players, basketball players, a percentage of you ladies will be models, actress, actresses. Now, it's gonna also be a percentage of you that go to jail for the rest of your life. It's gonna also be a percentage of you, it's gonna also be a percentage of you that die way before your time. It's gonna also be a percentage of you standing in front of the stove, man. Give me 50 cents, I do a dance for you. <laughs> hey, what, what you think? You think them, you think them folk went in high school at one time? You think somebody asked them what they want to be when they grow up and they said, I want to be a bum? <laughs> no. What you put, what you put into life is what you get back out of. If in school you only do just enough to get by, when you get out of school, you can only count on getting just enough money to get by. Now, it's going to be a percentage of you to go on to be more successful than anybody could have ever imagined. And it's going to be a percentage of you that people say, man, I can't believe I went to high school with that dude. <laughs> what percentile you fall up on is up to you. It's your decision. Your mama can't do it for you. Your teachers can't do it for you. T.I. can't do it for you. No. Nah. You got to help yourself, homie. You got to stand up and you got to tell, you got to say, man, I want something better for myself, man. I want to I, I wanna get from where I am all the way to where I want to be. And I'm willing to put in the work and the sacrifice and the dedication to do it. You got to go hard. And if you ain't willing to go hard, if you don't put nothing into life, then life ain't going to put nothing back into you. Before anybody else believe, you got to believe in yourself, homie. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate all y'all time. I appreciate y'all gathering, you know what I'm saying? Being, being here long enough to check me out. And I got a, the utmost faith in all of y'all. I believe everybody in here can go on and be great. Just as me being here for this little short period of time, I can see some of you got swag out of this world. You know what I'm saying? You already got confidence, you know? You real, you know what I'm saying? You real ambitious. All you got to do is execute. All you got to do is believe in yourself and actually get out there and do it. And when you do, I get you at the top. I'll holler at you. Let me ask you fellas a question. Are you going to meet a lady today and just take her shopping? And go to the mall? You spend your money on a girl, you're gonna wanna get to know her parents. You're gonna wanna make sure, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is the one for you. You're gonna wanna know what her, you know, what kind of personality she got. You're gonna wanna know a lot more about her other than just what she telling you and how she look, right? So look, ladies, if they if they feel like that about their money, shouldn't you feel that way about your body? Don't you think that that's a, you know, that's a little more important than some money? Because I know a fellow, man, I, ain't, man, I know guys, man, especially at this age, we are not feeling apart ways with no money. Not just, you know, not just like that.